from the uh, Kalahari manganese fields in the northern cape of South Africa. Here we have almost an orangey uh, a formation of andradite garnets and sitting in between these are some hematite crystals. You can see the little shiny silver metallic. But what I find so appealing about this guy is this section, this calcite crystal perched on the edge which is actually see-through, so you can see into it and have a look at the inclusions or the formations forming in there, which would most likely be uh, hematite and andradite. Those are the only uh, associations I see immediately on this piece. Good size, from a display point of view, the base, the matrix would be pretty much that. So you'd be displaying it flat going across like this, going around like this. Look at that. That is oh so appealing. Look at that. That large crystal as the entrance, so the gatekeeper to this whole little castle. This is a bit uh, overexposed. Actual color is more like that. It's a orange, orange garnets, uh, andradite garnets, of course, ranging in color across quite a spectrum. The andradite garnet family. Um, I just want to see if we can zoom in a little bit closer, and you can actually see the crystallization of the andradite garnet. Uh, this uh, this video facility doesn't have a macro facility, so I have to play around with it, maybe move the stone a bit further away and then move it in again. Really, really very appealing, lustrous, bright specimen. All the way from uh, South Africa, the northern cape of South Africa, Kalahari manganese fields, where the guys are mining for manganese. Look at that. I love this little calcite crystal on the side. Because like a tiny little hematites, silver metallic hematites on this almost crusty material. And of course these crusts are formed by tiny, tiny andradite garnet crystals, also quite bright and lustrous. So with good lighting, you, you actually have a beautiful specimen here from South Africa.